See, here's the disgusting part about Eric Reed. He wants to sit up there and define blackness. Addressed Malcolm Jenkins on the football field before a 1 p.m. coin toss. Called Jay-Z despicable. Lord knows what he's calling me or any other black person. Here's what Eric Reed doesn't bring up. Unemployment may be at a low in the African-American community at only 5.5% at this particular moment in time. But as I've said on many occasions over these airwaves, when, my, when white America catches a cold, black folks catch pneumonia. The phraseology simply means that no matter how bad things are for white folks, it's at least twice as bad for black folks. Really, is it fair? Really, is it justified? But we understand that. Which means that the importance of strategic implementation, a plan, is pivotal. It's necessary. It matters. Where the hell are you going to get in life listening to Eric Reed and Colin Kaepernick? I want to do it my way. I don't want to capitulate to a damn thing. I don't want to capitulate to anybody. The hell with the NFL and their $18 billion a year product. The hell with the 32 teams and the white billionaire owners. The hell with the commissioner. The hell with everybody. All of y'all ain't worth the damn. I got this Kuta Kente shirt on highlighting who I believe I am compared to who y'all are and what I have to deal with. I am enslaved. I am persecuted. Y'all are stacked against me. Y'all don't give two cents about me. Y'all hate me. Oh, by the way, can you give me this job? Tell me who gets a job under those circumstances. Tell me who gets employment under those circumstances. Who are those people? My man Max Kellerman poured up a very lucid and fair-minded point in terms of speaking truth to power and highlighting the iniquities exacted upon a disenfranchised community and individuals that emanate from those communities when it comes to the oppressor versus the oppressed. That's fair. But my man Damian Woody also brought up a valid point when he talked about reality. And he reminded Max Kellerman and others, is it fair that a black man has to talk to his children about how you conduct yourself when the police roll up on you. About the reality about how unwise it might be to wear a hoodie in a darkened, compromised visual environment, particularly at nighttime, when we know a book shouldn't be judged by its cover. Trayvon Martin. But if you want to keep your children alive, to live another day and to fight that good fight. You don't just talk about the altruistic things. You don't just talk about the way that things should be. You talk about the way things are. How is Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed doing us any favors today? Sticking out their chest in defiance of the man when you got your hand out for an opportunity from them. What kind of example are you setting? For youngsters on the come up. Nobody's telling them not to strategize. Nobody's telling them not to fight. Nobody's telling them not to be aware of the minefields and the trials and the tribulations and the pitfalls that lie in wait, ready to take them down. What folks of an intellectual variety might be saying to them is, okay, be aware. And simply stomping your foot in the ground or sticking your proverbial foot in the sand might not get it done. You might need to be a bit smarter than that. If you want to get what you want. And in the world of an Eric Reed, you're a sellout. You ain't even black. This from a man who spews that kind of stuff. While accepting a check from the NFL as we speak. To work on a Sunday afternoon. A check that evidently is so important to him that his brother he's locked in arms with, diligently defending at every turn, 
he couldn't even stay to support for the full workout because of the check he had to collect the next day. But you want to define blackness. Who the hell you think you are? If anybody's a puppet in all of this, it's you. If anybody's Mr. Bojangles in all of this, this is you. If anybody's selling out, it's you. And it ain't because of what you're doing for yourself. Because you got a family to take care of. But knowing that it's because of what you're doing to a bunch of youngsters out there trying to define for them what blackness is. Sending them down an abyss that they may never come up from. And you damn well know it. And you're doing it anyway. Selling out a bunch of youngsters in our community just to help one man who had a choice to show up for a workout and elected not to do so. The hell you think you are. Go to break. 